How are you? So we are going to do a video on the ultimate success today, right? But we'll quickly begin with a bit of recap. So we started doing these videos about one and a half year ago, and the first series of video that we did was about happiness. Happiness, right? And so what's the prerequisite for happiness? Tranquility. And what's the prerequisite for tranquility? True belief. True belief is the prerequisite for tranquility, right? So we are looking into two aspects of that, uh, the, the aspects of true belief. The first aspect that we looked into was that what happens if you, if you have true belief, right? Then what happens? So just tell me what happens. It helps you overcome the fear of the future, helps you with meditation. Mm -hmm. uh, and positive thinking. And uh, yeah, connection to all that exists and, and uh, helps you prevent pathological loneliness. Yeah, so all those are the what happens aspect of the, uh, of the true belief, right? If you have strong belief, so to begin with, happiness, prerequisite is tranquility, tranquility is prerequisite is uh, true faith, and true faith uh, actually leads to, uh, like this is the what happens so what happens right it provides you an opportunity to live in the present it helps you in knowing the purpose of your existence connecting to all that exists saves you from pathological lo loneliness provides you opportunity for meditation positive thinking all this is connected to what happens right and ultimately this gives you happiness right so today we are going to focus on how it happens one how it happens, what's the mechanism, and what's the ultimate goal? Ultimate, ultimate goal. So, so we, we are talking about true, be, true belief, right? So, what do we believe in actually? What are we supposed to believe in? Uh, <coughs> Allah, the angels. Just to say, so Allah is actually the. So you have to believe in the Creator, and which is Allah, and then uh, the angels in the angels and books, the books that He has revealed, and prophets, the prophets and uh, the day of judgment, the day of of judgment. Right. So these are the critical the basic beliefs and we are going to discuss that how this is linked to this this belief is not for nothing it actually helps us achieve human excellence right so if you don't have this strong belief we can't achieve human excellence that's critical we're going to discuss that and then the second aspect so this is in arabic this is called iman which is belief and then the next step is Islam, right? So, so Iman and Islam, so which is the practice, which is the submission to one true God. But there are a few things that we need to do to complete our, our uh, practice of the deen, the way of life. So what do we need to do? What do we practice? <clears throat> Praying. So the five pillars, right? So prayers, five times a day, then? Fasting. Fasting and then charity, charity and hajj, charity and hajj, right? So these are the key pillars of, of Islam, and then we are going to discuss that how these practices, this practice, helps us achieve excellence as well. So nothing is disconnected, right? This true belief and then the the, the practice of that is kind of stepping stones. So unless so, so this is how we have how we have uh, we are going to just discuss this in detail. But this is the stepping stone, which is the the basic foundation, true true and strong belief, and then the practice, which is Islam, and then finally, finally, ihsan. Ihsan. So this is uh, ihsan. So we are going to uh, today we are going to look into detail details of how these different aspects are interconnected and how do they actually 
help us achieve the ultimate goal, the ultimate purpose, and the ultimate success in life, which is achieving human excellence.